Well, hello, folks, and welcome back to Ellen. Uh, this time, I think we're going to maybe hopefully try to do a little bit of building. Start working on the town a little bit. Say, so knock this book of poison arrow out. My, liter my literacy skill increases. Unfortunately, I'm not literate enough to pronounce it properly. So, I don't even know where I want to begin right now. Too many choices, too many paths. I need to craft rope. I need to get the stone cutter built. I need more nails. Okay. In fact, you know what? I'm going to grab this. I want... I want all of my actual crafting... Workshops next to each other. I'm going to have the processing ones all lined up next to each other. Have my crafting ones lined up next to each other. Never going to remember which one crafts what. Look at that. It just takes so much stamina. I can only craft eight. It, it pains me on the inside. We're sleepy, tired. Say, I could craft more of these beds for everyone else that is staying here, but I really don't want to. I'm going to be stingy until I can craft actual beds. So, we got that... I mean, the stone, I make sure I haven't built one. I'm getting absent minded in my old age. Oak planks, granite stones, nails. And do it. Okay, stone cutter, you're a processor. Uh, let's cut some stones into blocks. Where's all my granite at? I've only got 10. It's sad. I'll probably... Uh, it's late. I'm probably going to yawn and be tired the whole video. Now, I'll probably... Have to go back out. Find more stones in order to craft my pickaxe. Huh, I didn't... Okay, junk stones get turned into granite pebbles. That's interesting. What's their damage? 2d4. I'm just going to sell them. That's the first time I've ever put uh, junk stones on there. Not gonna, I'm not gonna waste my basalt stone. I need that. Uh, let's see. Now we need tight rope. So for that, you need string and big leaves. We're gonna craft all four. Run out of string. My question is. I can, I can craft more string, right? I was going to say, I should have a ton of vines. Yes, yes, game. I know. I know. My stamina is... Absolutely garbage. Absolutely worthless. That's good to know. Next time, I'm just going to throw the pebbles at somebody. My yeek is getting a bit stale. So now... I need this and this. I've got enough resources for both of them. The mason's table would be fine. I think you can build things like stone walls, stone doors, stone furniture there. But again, I still don't really have a good source of stone. So let's get this wall workshop built. What's gonna happen to mycelia now? I don't know. Apparently earthquakes every day until something terrible happens, no doubt. Get that built. Going to need so much, so much, just so much wood. Is there anything else I want to make here? Crafting table. So what do I even need for that? More planks. Say, how much lumber do I even have? Plenty of lumber. Logs. Say, that'll give me 20 planks. I can smell the fresh wood in the air. Just huffing in little particles of sawdust. Mm. If you've never been in a wood workshop, you're missing out. You know, I think that this is new. I do not remember being able to process materials 
like this. It used to have to be in your inventory, I thought. Uh, let me see. Drafting table. It's a max quality of negative 20. I don't really know if that cares, if that matters or not. That's going to take all of my stamina. Crafting skill increases. Okay, before we look at that, let's just sleep again. So what do I sleep? How long? How much time does it take? It takes nine hours to rest, and I still only get 34 stamina. We're refreshed. I learned how to make small grass window. So what can I make at the, this table? I can make a kiln, which is nice. It's how you make clay and stuff. Accessory table, worthless for a long time. Glassmaker's table, kind of useless, I'm pretty sure. Spinner, smelter. Smelter is useful. In order to craft that, I will need to make a kiln so I can make bricks as well. Okay. I need a bunch of soil and more stones. Uh, I think what I'm going to have to do, though, we're going to have to go out and I need a bunch more wood. Like, that, this isn't going to be enough for what I need to do. Where are crappy grass branches? Rotten blueberries. Get rid of those. Okay. Let's go cut down some trees. I don't really care what they are because these, these are just going to be logs for uh, the wall. I would prefer that they all be oak. Like, these don't need to be beautiful or have additional stats. Damn, I don't know why it blew up. What did you cast? We cast Poison Arrow. A bird's nest. Is there an egg in here? No. Weight... I think the dog is gaining weightlifting stats from carrying my ass around. It's kind of funny. Excuse me, Yeek. I'm trying to work here. Just want to peacefully coexist. Another bird's nest? Nope. I say, if I can get some eggs, we're going to try and hatch them. I believe they also have to be fertilized. Splat. So not every egg you find is going to be something that you can turn into a life form. Say, so why was that kind of faded? What was that? We are enveloped in a sensation of be everything becoming one. We pray to our god. And since it's midnight, she, she heals us casually. She's like, I see you're sweating out there. You got a few cuts and scrapes. Uh, actually, go back. Because I saw this. Yoink. And bamboo, because that's food. Why not? Will... Oh, a treasure chest. Hello, goblin. So we'll get that in a second. Come on, jackpot. I need the treasure of the trees. A runic tome and a wooden hand axe. Oh, let me see something again. I'm, I was debating whether or not I should grab that and take it back to my base. I don't think I'm that desperate for storage space. We'll just... Excuse me. Excuse me, Petite. So we'll just craft more... Nah, don't cut that down. We'll just craft more chests whenever we get back if I need to. Gathering leveled up. I think that just means you gather things a little bit faster. It would be nice if it was like, oh, you, your gathering gets high enough, so you start... Being able to gather double stuff. What the hell is that? I don't even know what I killed, but we got a lucky cat from it. It's junk. It's made of gold. Rare. Price. I don't know what copy fee means. Somehow, I'm guessing there's a machine that allows you to copy items. But if it has that... Ooh, basalt. But if it has the copy fee, you have, maybe you have to pay to copy it. Maybe you need... I don't know. Anyone want to explain the copy fee to me? So 
Let's see. Throw those. Throw those out. I was gonna say, please don't eat them. It sounded like I munched on it. Won't kill me if I eat rotten food, but I don't think it'll fill me up either. Splat. More bamboo. Tis the season of bamboo. We learn how to make a pile of fallen leaves. Okay. Hello, shape. And I did find out that when you can talk to animals, uh, once you eventually actually unlock the ability to talk to animals, I think you can slowly work their trust up. Give them gifts and things like that. And then you can recruit them to your town. They, I will be trying to do some of this stuff. I would like to have a little ranch. What did we get? An egg of poutite. It's edible. It's made of jelly. It doesn't say anything about being fertilized, unfortunately. Bonk. Say, if we could have a pet poutite at town. An oak tree carved. No idea what it says. Sayonara. Hello, crab. So what is this one? An egg of floating eye. Okay. It's sweet. Splat. That was easier than I thought it would be. Those things are susceptible to magic. I say there, I, there's not exactly a rock, paper, scissor system in this. But I think melee beats, beats magic. Magic... Beats ranged rain? I don't know. I heard there was something like that. So if you don't know exactly how to deal with an enemy, if you know what, how they're attacking you, you might be able to counter them a little bit. Hello, Yeek. You need to toughen up. You take a lot of damage. Say so until I start running across extra gear to toss her away. Rosewood, rosewood, there's an oak tree. Uh, and one thing you can do that I'm not going to do very much at the start until I st start making a little bit more money is you can give your companions gold and they will use it uh, whenever you go into town to buy buy new gear, I'm pretty sure. And also use it to upgrade their skills. On to the next. So what is here? Birch trees. I think birch uh, wood is good for beds as well. I think it has a healing attribute. More bamboo. I'm just about... Well, this will be the last map. Then I'm going to be too overweight. End up dying. I do not need that. Grass branches are the worst branches. And I've already got a ton of them. A ton of different branches, that is. Got grass branch. Treasure chest! Where are you? I would really like some more recipes, please. Now stay out of the water. Blink and frickin' die. Okay. Go back, drop this stuff off. I'm moving so slow. Down to 53 move speed. Not just movement speed, that's also your combat speed. Dump all that stuff. So let's see, what can I cook? Absolutely nothing, because my stamina is all buggered. Imagine cooking an egg and dying. That would be almost as embarrassing as dying to a poutite. So let's see, cook that. I'm going to start throwing some of this extra food in my cooler there. Roasted fruit. Yeah, might as well. Not really going to gain much skill from it, I don't think. Egg of poutite. Slightly firm. Raw food. It's made of jelly. Fresh, fireproof. Interesting that the poutite egg is fireproof. Does that mean I can't cook it? No, we can. So I, I burned that one. 
unwanted fried egg. It's stinky, it's harmful, it's boring and bitter. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. So, put that in there. Straw, put all the seeds in there I don't need. An ancient book titled Ponapi Scripture. Interesting. Nice little breastplate. So I'm going to keep the cat for now. Keep that. Keep all my food. Oh, I need more bag space. This is, this is hurting me. So what is this? DB6, but it does give me a bit of cold resistance. PB8, PB... I don't really care about dodging. You can have this. So we'll take that. Don't know don't know what that is. We need to go get that ID'd. Sell that. Get in there, get in there, keep all this on me. Put my lucky cat in there. Let's see what this does. We start to read it and we decipher it. Okay. It does absolutely nothing as far as I can tell. Does anyone know what these books are for, other than breaking down with a hammer and getting paper that I'm not going to worry about right now? It won't open? No, yeah, this is about the chest I tried to lockpick. Yeah, that's because I've carefully locked it. Even if you have a lockpick, you can't open it if your skill is too low. You better remember that. You can have the lockpick in the chest. When you become a seasoned adventurer, you will surely find the contents within useful. Okay. She likes me a little bit better. Hey, our approval is up to 48, which means my pet can die a couple more times and she won't be mad. Let's see what Loidal has to say here before I get back to crafting. They're both quiet, eyes downturned, looking away from each other. What's with the serious faces, both of you? It's not good to hold in stress. Why don't you learn from me and Enjoy the tranquil and magnificent nature of this meadow. Ah, oh, Loidal. Good timing. Actually, I've just received this letter from Mycelia. A letter, huh? Huh. Let's have a look. Dear Loidal, Regrettably, your passionately collected rare flowers, especially the Phantom Azure Tulip, have been appraised as fake. The funds you invested are irretrievable and it has been discovered that this flower is prohibited from cultivation in mycelia. As it was displayed on Royal Memorial Day by the royal family, you are being charged for severely damaging the royal honor, resulting in a debt of 20 million orins. It's a challenging situation, sir. But we hope you will overcome this adversity and regain your glory. Sincerely, Mycelian Finance Bureau. That is a lot of horns. His face goes pale. His hand goes limp. So, this means I'm bankrupt? And saddled with a colossal debt of 20 million orins? Hm. Yes, it, it seems so. I'd like to see this fake tulip once we're back in Mycelia. He takes a deep breath. Hmm. That's the situation. Understand, Plump? It's fortunate that I was here in this meadow when such an absurd tragedy struck. Had I been in Mycelia, I would have been imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit. All right, though. Let's turn this land into a bustling city of gold and pay off the debt no matter what. Don't worry. With my wisdom and experience, I am certain to overcome this hardship. A phantom azure tulip. Didn't you find such a flower suspicious? Ugh, come on, man. My head hurts. I need to rest now. Hmm. <laughs> 20 million orins? That's enough to buy a small town easily. Well, knowing Loidal, he'll find some way to handle it. Probably. My dear Loidal, you are screwed. He wants microchips. He wants seven of them. He can get bent. Let's see, we're stunned by the face of a girl who is as beautiful as an Ellen. She gains experience. I don't even, what does that mean? We are stunned by the face of a girl who is as beautiful as an Ellen. Where did that come from? 
Uh, let's get back to crafting more oak planks. In fact, now that I know I don't have to have those in my inventory, we're going to use the rest of my stamina here. Oh, it's tool time with Plump. This table saw is the Fanger Mangler 5000. It is unmatched in its quality and craftsmanship. And I should know because I crafted it. You will not find a machine like this anywhere else in any town. The boards it cuts are straight and perfect. Smooth as an egg. You don't even need to take them through the planer. Carpentry 2. Leveling some of these skills is so freaking slow. So painful. I, I really can't imagine how how many how long and how much I would have to craft in order to say get my carpentry even up to level twenty. It would probably be just four or five hours of gathering and crafting and gathering and crafting. I want to get. I want to get even more planks, up to 44. I'm pretty sure to craft the walls, all we need are planks. I'll probably leave about 10 logs left. Logs are used in some crafting recipes. Uh, things for furniture, I think if you want to craft blocks, you need logs. So you don't always want to process all of your resources. Sometimes it's fine just to leave them the way they are. Put that in there, that back. Okay, let's check this out. The wall workshop. We can make this type of log wall. We can make a plank wall. Yeah, if you wanted to just use straight logs, you can do it. You can make this plank wall. You can make wooden fences. Okay, wooden fences take logs. You can make stone walls, plain walls. We're not going to go for stone. We're just going to go for basic planks. I think this one looks fine. So how many can I craft? It doesn't cost any stamina. Hell yeah. Uh, give me 45 of them. They don't weigh very much either. So craft that. Uh, for flooring, we have a bunch of different options. Straw floor for the barn, obviously. Log floors, wooden floors... That takes logs. I kind of like the look of that for like a patio or something. Plank floor, soil, all this crap. Bone. I guess if you want to place bones around your base, vine bush. You, oh, okay, if you want to decorate, that's that's what these are. I don't know if I ever even learned these two on my main. I don't remember seeing them. Pile of fallen leaves, stone floors. Oh, we're just going to do a basic plank floor. That's why I made a ton of planks. And I need a lot more flooring tiles than I do wall tiles. So let's get this started. The first building we build is going to be just a little shack for more or less just for sleeping. The question is, where do we want to put it? I kind of want to put it up here. Like in my head, I'm imagining a little building here. So maybe start it here. That way I can have a door right here. We'll have a patio, porch area that leads to this fishing area. So our fishers can just walk out and fish. We can just sit on, sit on our deck and watch our cute little pond. So yeah, I don't think it needs to be any different than that. We don't need to get too crazy with this. Uh, I'll leave a little bit of room behind it. Just so that my NPCs can go back there and get lost and I never see them again. And I think that'll be good. Not going to be a very big or fancy first building. You gotta do what you can do with what you've got. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to pick up all these. Don't make me do it, game. 
Okay, so the Penape scripture was 21 credits. Maybe it wasn't. It's not an important book. Those books might exist just for you to read and raise your skill with. So we got 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Actually, you know what? I didn't even make sure that it was even so that I could have a door centered. But it worked out. So, craftsman, where is my... See, that's grass doors. I don't want a grass door. We're not going tribal here. What do you mean I don't have any planks? What do you mean I used all my planks? So I wasn't considering that. Maybe craft... I need two doors. Bam, bam. And then maybe we'll place windows. Yeah, this place is going to look pretty good by the time we're done. I'm going to get rid of all these logs. Riding, level 3. Every time my riding increases, you'll also notice my speed increases. It's one of the reasons I say unlock riding as early as you can. Because it takes time to level it up. And when it's low level and your speed is dropped down, you might just catch yourself running around in circles trying to level it up. When you could be just leveling it up while you passively craft and do stuff like this. So, excuse me, game. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna live dangerously. We're gonna craft two doors. The first door will take me to zero stamina. The second door, we're gonna see. Okay, it is just one stamina for one health. I thought it was more than that. Uh, unfortunately, you can't put a door in a gap. You actually have to put a wall there. And then you can place your door. So, bam, bam. There we go. Loidal, give me your bed. Get up. We're gonna get you out of the rain. Put some flooring in here in a second. Slap some windows up. They don't need any other furniture. I mean, eventually I will decorate my bases a little bit better. Uh, I need to sleep. I just about killed myself because I forgot my stamina was negative because I was running my mouth. Mistakes that I don't make while playing and not recording. Okay, place that there. Uh, no. I didn't want to do that. I hate whenever I try to click on one of these icons on the side, right as it vanishes, and then my character zooms around the map. Okay, get in there. We still got plank walls left that I could build a small. Um, what would I build? Maybe a shed for farming stuff. Like again, we're gonna have farming over here. One, two, yeah, we'll do this. Okay, this will be right against the edge of my map. Can I? I can't. It, it won't. I, I can't do it. Okay, so I I do have to leave one tile back there. That that breaks my heart. In fact, let me see. Map tool. No roof, please. I don't I don't need the roofs getting in my way. The roof. The roof. The roofies. Okay. This door cannot be centered. That's fine. It's just a barn. It's just a barn plump. Just let it go. We can we can upgrade it later. Make it more centered. For now we're just slopping the hog. We're slopping that hog. Doesn't matter what it looks like for the most part. We just want to get this done. Okay, got that. I feel like I'm forgetting something. We'll go place all these beautiful floor tiles. Again, I don't even know if the floor tiles matter until you're trying to focus on getting tourism values up. Like, I don't think your citizens care if the floor is just dirt. Anyone know how it goes? Feel free to update me when I ask these questions. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? This place is coming together so nicely. So I'm not going to place my these fancy tiles in there. That would be a waste. Put that away. Strange diary. Oak plank. Bonk. 
You know what? Let's eat the flour. And boiled egg. And throw that in there. Put the bamboo shoots in there. I don't know how long they'll stay good. Put the sheep on the bone. It's already going a little bit stale. So now I need to craft beds. All I can do there is a makeshift bed. I mean, if, if the only thing I can craft are makeshift beds, then that's just what I'll have to do for now. It pains me to make people sleep on nasty-ass hay. Tufts of straw, tufts of grass. I'm gonna use all of my stamina. Stay out of the old forest. This is more beds than I need at the moment, but it's fine. No, I don't want to get out of my way, Loidal. You're 20 million in debt. I will tell the bookies and loan sharks where you're at. Okay. This looks like a freaking barn. So, this for now will be my bed. And bed options, single resident, bed options, single resident. Switch all of these to single. Bed options, resident single. An esteemed makeshift bed. That can be for guests. Makeshift bed, single. An esteemed makeshift bed for guests. I'm just going to sleep on a basic bed. That's a bewitched makeshift bed. If you sleep on this bed, you're going to have some of the most vivid and weird dreams of your life. Maybe even get visited by some spirits in your sleep. Strange diary. Uh, well, I'm thinking about it. I'm exhausted. Let's not think about it. Let's just go to bed. I was like, do I want to plow the ground now and put some seeds out? Winter is going to be coming at some point, and then I can't grow anything at all until it's over with. I don't know. I don't remember exactly what month that starts in. I'm going to clean this mess up a little bit. Get that there. Heavy chest. Good lord. You. Well. The controls still confound me from time to time. Hey, come here. Put all of our workbenches in front of the building. Except the wall and floor ones. I might hide them in the barn. Might have to move all these letters. Say I'm keeping them. Those things are collectibles. I can actually move with this. Okay, place you there. This treasure chest. You're not really a storage chest. This thing I probably won't be able to pick up and move. In fact, where will I even put it? Leave it there for now. Okay, this is... I'm gonna end up tearing that whole building down. I just... I'm looking at it and it's making me mad. It's bothering me. Throw that there. That's only 120 stones. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more than that. I don't got that much crap in it, I guess, after... Uh, dismantling all those logs. Look at this place. Isn't it just getting more and more beautiful? It almost looks like a real, a real place. Okay, you. You get all this stuff out of the way. Don't throw it. Poppy gains some stats and weightlifting. You can pick it up. I want to see something. What residents can I hire 
this moment in time. We've got Narcisse the Gambler, who does gotcha and shopping. Succus the Fighter, or Sucius, who does blogging and walking. I have no idea what either of those do. We have Wador, the 206-year-old child that does gardening and smoking. There are only four gold bars. The world is full of love. Join us, will ya? All right, I'll try my best not to let you down. So our first resident is a smoking, gardening, ancient child. Very Japanese. Let's see. Let's talk. If I can find out what they like, we'll start giving them stuff. I want you to become my maid here. Uh, before I do that, I want to look at the resident board. Make sure it's not going to change their job. They don't have a bed yet, but they'll claim one. They need a farming sign place, so I need to make the sign workshop. And apparently smoking is just natural power generation, so we get two extra electricity for the town here. Which isn't something we're going to use just yet. And public mor morale, negative one. Which I don't know what negative morale actually does. Maybe it makes people work less and high tax. Maybe that means we get more money from them. You can tell that I just have a whole lot of I don't knows. Maybe this is how it works. I'm not sure. Uh, I check the wiki every now and then on things, but even it... Oh, that's kind of neat. But even it is sparse with details. On a lot of things. Okay, so I need to make a sign workshop. Sign board workshop. I've got the stuff for it. Oak planks, grass strings, rosewood. Get this crafted. Hey, this place doesn't look too bad. I know it's coming along, isn't it? So, sales tags. You craft this and you can sell things. Room board. Change various settings in a room. House board tool that can change various settings in an entire house. We need the farm sign. I don't want to craft it with my good logs. Palulu. Rosewood. We'll do rosewood. And... So I don't think I need fishing or ranching or lumberjacking yet. I need a garbage dump sign and a stockpile sign. So let's just get started on this. We'll do two farm signs for now. I, might, I probably can't even have uh, two of these fully active. See these? This is... The grid that you're seeing is the grid that NPCs will plant and harvest stuff in automatically. Anything outside of that grid, they're not interested in. So... I think it can go here. And then I need to plow up all of this land. Where is what is my, the fertility? Twenty-six. So I can grow twenty-six plants roughly, unless they take less or more fertility than one. The maximum fertility that this map has is ninety-three. Now, in order to increase that, you need to get rid of all of the other plants on your map. Because every plant that is alive, weeds, flowers, trees, all of them, will be consuming fertility on your land. Uh, that's why there are public policies you can buy or set up that will prevent plants from growing, like weeds and things like that. That way you don't have to worry about constantly micromanaging and clearing these things out. If you are trying to run a farm or something like that. Bamboo! Okay, we're going to clear all of this off just so I can see how much of a difference it makes. Good for my skill gain anyways. I need the lee. I need all of this stuff. If not now, then later. Exhausted. Okay, put this away. Um, Let me get these out of my inventory. No, no. Stand right here. This is probably the quickest way to do it, rather than trying to place them manually like they're a piece of furniture. 
Why am I keeping them again? I don't know, folks. Maybe I'll take a hammer to them later and get some paper out of them. Seeds of creme, white flour. I don't want to grow any of those. I just want to do basic berries. So all of that. Okay. And I'm exhausted, so before I forget and end up killing myself by getting involved in another project, let's rest. We close our eyes and pray to our God. And we wake up com not not completely rested. I can't lie. I can't I can't roleplay that when the stats are saying otherwise. We're completely healed though. We slept for eleven hours and we're hungry. So, we'll eat that before it goes bad. I say, things will still go bad in the cooler box. You can carry this cooler box around with you if you want. Keep your food in it. I might end up doing that, actually. Let me see. So, do I have to empty this to pick it up? I think so. Oh, no, I just have to empty my hand. Okay. So how much does this weigh? Two stones? We can actually place it there. And keep our food in it that way. Okay. You know, sometimes I just need a few minutes and then my brain starts working and I'm like, oh yeah. What are you even eating? Eating a disturbing rice. Apparently they liked it. Okay. Uh, I want to till all of this up. Say, so now that we've got them here, now that we've hired our first resident, we'll put them and Loidal to work. I, I don't have enough seeds, unfortunately, yet, but when you plow the land like this, it doesn't ever disappear. It's plowed forever, as far as I can tell. And that's another question I got. Do any of you know how to get rid of this plowed ground? Like, if I wanted to return it just to basic dirt like this so it doesn't look like like a farm field, how do you do it? I tried a pickaxe, I tried a shovel, I tried all the tools I've got on my last character, and I never saw an option for removing them. Do I have to craft, like, dirt floors or grass floors and place them over this? Bonk. I think for now, I'll probably just plow this one up. And that, that reminds me. Say, the watering can is not required for farming. Basalt stones? No. I need to go get some stones. I'm not wasting my basalt on that. Yeah. Not gonna do it. that at some point small grass window you know what? I got a little bit of stamina I don't I don't think I'm gonna craft anything else so let's craft two small grass windows uh, unfortunately I need to turn this back no see don't don't run down there you just wasted like five minutes of my game time lost part of my day Put a window there. That looks terrible. Put that there. And those are just for decoration. They don't actually do anything. Again, as far as I know. Nope, don't you dare run down there. Uh, what I need... Where are they? Pasture? No. Tomato. Tomatoes consume three fertility. It can yield up to four crops... I've only got two berry seeds. I think we'll plant the tomatoes. What is my fertility up to? 60. Okay. Seeds of tomato. Plant it. Plant it. Plant it. Plant it. Plant it. Uh, we're going to have to go on a little adventure. Unfortunately. And that reminds me. I... I can craft my basalt pickaxe. Let's do it. I've got the hardest stick known to man. Or at least known to me. Good, you made a tool. Honey, I've made a lot of tools. All, tie, all items are made from some kind of material, and each material has its own characteristics. 
For example, items made of paper are light, while items made of iron are heavy but hard to burn. One of the characteristics of materials is hardness, which is especially important for tools like pickaxes. The hardness of materials determines what kind of stone or ore you can mine, so this hardness is very crucial. If you come across stones that your current pickaxe can't mine, try making a new pickaxe with a harder material. Well, you can actually level up your mining skills a lot and just power through it, but it's a lot easier if you use your brain and you actually craft a good pickaxe. Uh, let's go to bed. I think we're going to make a trip back to the puppy cave. Let's see if I can get some stones there. Eat my delicious roasted oranges. And where is that? I don't even know why. Okay, yeah, I do know why. Never mind. Uh, let's see. We got that. Ooh. This is actually better than the puppy cave. The puppy cave is filled with dirt walls. What stopped me? It's an ambush. We hear a loud roar. Is that right? Well, you must not have heard about me. I don't take very kindly to being ambushed and roared at. But yeah, you come into a place like this, this tower, and these walls are all scrap. See, I'm, I'm not going to find any stones here, but we will find some other stuff. Let me see. game. Okay, so you cannot move items on your hotbar unless your inventory is open. That's good to know. Did not know that. We got Altar of Machine. There's a Machine God if you want to worship the Machine God. Excuse me, Mr. Crab. Mr. Krabs. Uh, we got chemicals here. Pot of Dirty Water. I'm not sure what chemicals you can get, but there's also these wall lights. We're going to grab it. You can grab these off the walls. You can take them back to your base. They do use uh, electricity, so you can only have so many. But unlike torches, you never have to refill them. Torches burn up your lumber and stuff, and I believe the NPCs will refill them over time. As long as you've got like a stockpile sign out and you've got plenty of wood uh, in your storage. Could be wrong about that, but... But I don't think so. A bewitched light stand. See these? We're gonna take that too. It's made of plastic. We can break it down and get plastic out of it, or we can sell it in the shipping container. What is that? I didn't even I didn't even see anything was there. Take all all this stuff. You can't pass it up. They don't make lights like this anymore. A lattice door. I don't think you can do anything with those. You can if you have a, ha a hammer, you can even break down these mine cards. Watch out, he's coming at you. You can ride the mine cards if you want. Which is also why I, I ran around it. That debris is impossible for me. We You'll see enemies occasionally riding those minecarts around, or you'll be busy minding your own business when a, a minecart will show up with an enemy on it. Let me see. Can I offer you anything? No. The goddess... Oh, wait, that's the goddess of harvest. I'm an idiot. I thought it was the goddess of healing. I'm, I'm glad I couldn't offer anything to it, because my goddess would have been incredibly jealous and then probably smited me. Bye, Poutite. Huh, that has a lot of enemies. Uh, I'm just gonna use my boomerang. Doesn't matter which one we attack first, I'm assuming. They're all gonna freak me up. Now, I might get to show you another mechanic. Oh, don't paralyze me. Why is there an eyeball here? Okay, yeah, we're leaving. Uh, if you ever try to go back up the stairs and it says, Are you sure you want to go back up the stairs? It means you're on the bottom level. And it means the boss is there. And it means if you leave, the boss will despawn and you will not get the loot. 
for that dungeon. So it's quite, it's fairly important. You know what? I'll kill you. I'll try to. So it's fairly important not to leave the dungeon and to pay attention to that stuff. If you want the loot. However, if you're getting your ass kicked, it really doesn't matter, does it? You have to leave. You either leave on your own or the enemies forcefully evict you. You little bastard. I'm blaming you for chasing me out of here. If I hadn't been paralyzed by your brother in the basement, Sugars might still be alive to this day. I want to know just what type of pickaxe or what skill level I need to get. What did you steal from me? Oh, you stole my dirty water. I don't care. Doing me a favor. That ain't gamer girl water. That's straight toilet water from a public... Public urinal. Silly little gnome. You ain't getting any more. Got it back anyways. I think we are out of here. I don't really need any moss, so... My inventory, I got a little bit of space. Dive into Puppy Cave. Say, might as well make my trips worth it, right? So we got Rex. So yeah. If, if you want to level up your mining, come to Puppy Cave and do this. Just dig, man. Just dig. Chances are you'll go nowhere. You'll increase your skills. We learned how to make soil blocks. Strength went up. Are you really gonna beat on me, bro? I'm going to yeet the yeek. Every yeek that comes after me will be yeeted into oblivion. Okay, I, don't, I don't know why I was just going along with that. Once I start digging, I yearn for the mines, okay? I yearn for the mines. Welcome back. It's good to be back. I missed my home. Okay, I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff. Like this bewitched light sand. Sell that. Sell the ale. Quartz sand fragments we're going to keep because we can melt those down in the kiln and turn them into glass. The, dot, the dirty water we're going to keep because we can use that for a bunch of stuff. Not necessarily the water, but the bottle itself. Ketchup, ale, 2D5-3, two, it's worse. Rod of silence. Good hemp shoes. Okay, soil. I think I'm going to get rid of the junk stones too. Put all that in there. Now this... Place those. Aw. I'll say the lights can't be centered on the door. This one's either too far away or too close. Well, how come I can see this light? I gotta check. It is there. I'm just gonna grab both of those. You know what? We'll just place one right here. Over the door. Place you over the door. And you over the door. And then we'll place one inside. I probably don't even have enough power to keep all these going. Can't really center. I guess that's good enough. Okay, so let's go check our power situation. Look at all this freaking trash, too. What is going on? So were you planting stuff? Sounded like somebody was launching arrows. Electricity, yeah, we're using a little bit too much. Electricity is in short supply. We need power generators. Sugas, what is your job? She's a warrior. Uh, she's a lumberjack. So we need a lumberjack sign. And she can blog, but uh, what does blogging even do? She needs a monitor or the like. Uh, let's make a lumberjack sign. Now, as far as I know... See, just some basic wood. As far as I know, you don't need to have... 
your lumberjack sign placed where trees are. You can just place it somewhere. Like, I'm just going to place it here to keep it out of the way. Yeah, just place it somewhere and they will produce logs regardless. So don't stress about it. You don't need to place it in a forest. You don't need to keep trees growing up around your base in order for them to produce lumber. And they will produce lumber now and deliver it. I think that is the sound of her digging in the garden, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna pick up the rest of this trash. I need to find out what else I can do with this trash. I, I know there's a garbage bin I can craft, and you put stuff in the garbage bin, and it gets turned into like little tickets that you can take to another NPC somewhere in the world, and you can exchange those tickets for things. Uh, am I st am I blind? Yeah, I am blind. I was looking for this. Okay. Like, I need a compost box. And I need a waste boxes. But I'm going to need a lot more ropes, which means more vines. Oh, wait. I got plenty of those. Okay. All right. Stamina's bad. I think we're going to craft some vines, craft a box. And then that'll be it for today. I'm hungry. I don't care. We're going to work through the hunger. It's just going to make us more focused. Craft ten of those. Craft... Eight of those. And then we sleep again. After I eat. That is. Vomit! Let's put it in there because I don't want it to go bad. I love me vomit. I don't even care where me vomit comes from. Look at that, a bewitched light stand. 286 orange. Anyone who has trouble paying their taxes in this game, come on, guys. You, you really gotta do better. Go, go into the puppy cave, loot some stuff, just throw everything you don't need in the shipping container. And, and honestly, you don't need most of the stuff. If it's not needed at a crafting bench, sell it. You'll find plenty of it later on. Just get your money while you can, while the getting's good. So we got all that. Let's go craft this. I want a compost box. It takes eight planks. Our farmer is drunk. Which I, I don't really blame them. Non-combustible bo waste box. I want to know what the difference is. Now, don't be a smartass and tell me one's for burnable stuff and one's for non-burnable stuff. Like, what hap- like... Well, what's this matter to the NPCs? I have- I have questions. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay, these boxes... let's see, what do I got? Non-combustible waste box. We're gonna put all of our trash boxes up here. The compost box... Go right there by the garden. Put all of your rotten food, all of your rotten meat in the compost box. And in a day or two, it'll turn into fertilizer that you can use on your plants that will make them grow quicker. So, let's read my books real quick. We gain knowledge of weakness. I think weakness is kind of an okay spell. Bonk. Randomly teleport. I hate when I do that. Rek su, rek do. I... I I mispronounce them occasionally, and it just teleports me. Relpor. Vazrelpor. Just takes one little syllable off, and who knows where you'll end up. Okay, so we got all that set up. The base is coming along good. Took a couple videos, but we're finally here. I didn't really want, like I said, I didn't want to build a temporary base out of grass walls and waste a bunch of time with stamina and resources and stuff. But uh, whenever we come back, I really don't know what we're going to do. More stuff around the base, maybe some more dungeon diving. Either way, I will see you all next time.